I guess a, a lot of people in the air conditioning industry are threatened by you now. I hope not. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure there are also a lot of investors, uh, yes. especially um, venture capitalists who are interested in funding your project. What success have you had in getting that kind of interest from investors? Um, there are a lot of um, investors emailing me and setting up appointments with me, but um, as much as possible, I try to go uh, meet with them and mm, okay. you know um, expose where? myself in the industry. Where, where do you meet with them? Abroad or here in the Philippines? Uh, f as of now, it's the Philippines lang po. But okay. um, future, I know. Mm -hmm. May I have schedules now with. Uh, foreign investors. Oh, you're a busy girl, huh? But then uh, well, we have to find the perfect, you know, synchronization with yeah. the investors, the manufacturers and all to find sure. the perfect team yeah. and collaborators to make AirDisc happen. I, I, I saw a, a write-up saying that you actually need, you, not need or want, was it $3 million? What is it? Um, it's around... To set up a factory? A $3 million, yes. Yeah. Where, the, where would the factory be set up? In, in your hometown? In my... In Naga? In, no, in um, no. Partido. Where that's that? that's where um, I took my high school. Pa Partido? Partido is in Camarines also, also in two province. hours away from ah, Nagasaki. you want to set it up in Partido? Yes, because the uh, mm -hmm. um, area po doon is puro land pa na hindi pa siya na... So it's so, idle land, hindi yes. agricultural to? But agricultural po, pero yung iba... But you want to put up a factory on that? No, okay. the, the uh, other lands are idle land. That's so. another issue there. <laughs> so you want to put up a factory in Partido. Yes. You're targeting when to put up the factory? As soon as possible, maybe 2020 if time permits and mm. everything. Falls so the original place. target, I think, was this year, right? Yes, but so then we it, had to move had to push it, it back. for personal okay. and. Right. Um, people are asking, you know, maybe these investors want to buy yeah. your invention just so they can kill it off. Yes. You know, just like um, remember that uh, inventor, Daniel Dingell, who said he invented a, an engine that runs with water? Yeah. You know, the conspiracy theorists are saying that. The big car companies bought off his invention so that he could never make it commercial. Are you worried that that could happen to you? Yes, of course, sir. I'm always worried. But then um, the business plan and the business setup will be, I will be the one um, giving licensing and franchise to those who wants to manufacture it. And then, you know, for, for a certain number of units only. Yeah. And then if they don't actually do it, yeah. if they kill it off, sure. then we cut contract. And wow. Okay. Oh, good business sense too, right? <laughs> and you already have a patent, I understand. Yes, under the U.S. To protect, pa to yes. protect your invention. Where is it now? Uh, it's under the U.S. patent and also the patent cooperation treaty, mm -hmm. which um, yung patent cooperation treaty, uh, 150 or so countries yeah. are members of that mm -hmm. treaty. So mm -hmm. if I file there, mm -hmm. um, they will recognize already the patent in their own country. Okay, so the U.S. patent office uh, already registered your invention yes uh -huh. and that the patent is actually good and respected yes, in all sir. of the member countries yes sir but then um it's not yet published yet so we have you still have to wait for further notice okay you know the interesting thing here is that of course in a country like ours we do need air conditioning and in a sense your your device supposedly is also environmentally friendly yes because it doesn't produce uh or doesn't use refrigerants and also is very energy efficient is all of this proven by your prototype? Yes, it's proven by the, my experimental prototype. Since um, uh, the usually we have a hundred and a thousand and five hundred watts of energy consumption for conventional air, air cons, mm -hmm. but with mine, I discovered that it only uses one hundred and fifty watts. Oh, so it's working like an electric fan only. Oh. And then it's uh, it's proven that it's um, environmental friendly since I'm only using air as the medium of cooling. Mm -hmm. So um, it's an open system air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. Labas pasok lang po yung air mm -hmm. inside the system okay. and wala siyang global warming. So it doesn't temperature. matter where the air temperature is yeah, when, you open, when you use the, the, the device, it just brings in the air, whatever temperature it is, yes. and it actually comes out cooler air. Yes. I, I wish you could have actually brought one here. How big does it weigh? Um, it's around, the experimental prototype is around 20 to 25 kilos. 20 to 25 yes. kilos. Okay. But so the commercial that... prototype, we're um, mm -hmm. looking at it at around five, five to eight kilos. So only. it will be almost the same size as a conventional air conditioning system. Uh, split type air conditioner. Split you... type or window. Split type or window. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, 